Hello and welcome to 1987. We are in the NASCAR Legends today at Dover. And my goal this time is to not get a flat tire. Because every time I come here in the 87 car at Dover, I blow my darn right front tire. And now we're not going to do that this time, I hope. I hope. I'm going to try my best. But we'll see what happens. I didn't want to qualify because I wanted to just try to have, you know, a tire saving race. But as the number two, I have the feeling that I'm still going to end up near the back because of people that aren't qualifying. You know, at, the, at best, I would end up, like, in the middle, probably. Or what I meant to say is end up at the front or at the middle at best. So we'll just uh, hope we don't get run over, I guess. <laughs> Let people buy, be patient, all that stuff. And uh, green flag, green I guess flag. we'll try to get a good look. Okay. See how it works out. I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but I've noticed that uh, you get a pretty decent lap if you don't bother hitting the brakes. Absolutely murder the right front tire enough to where the second lap is not even close on time. Like I can show you here, like enter the same way and you just don't have the same grip. And then there goes that red bar, just growing because your tires are already roasted after one lap. <laughs> so you see, we're not going to do that during the race. We're going to take it a lot easier. And. And uh, hopefully not get a flat tire for once. So I'm going to be taking it real easy. I'm going to be half throttling it, keeping close to the bottom ish, I guess. Maybe the middle is better. Maybe the middle is better. Maybe like. Uh, yeah, I'll let the banking carry. Maybe something like that. Let's throttle until we get pretty close to the exit of the corner. I think that's how I'm going to be riding. It's real good, though. And then hopefully, for once, I will not kill the tires. And we will have a lovely day. And... Uh, whatever. <laughs> Another thing is, I hope we get green flag running. Because I feel like... People are going to make a lot of mistakes trying to enter pit road if we get a green flag stop. I've practiced extensively here to get into pit road uh, consistently. I think I'm in a good spot. And it's very hard to do. Dover's pit road is a nightmare. So let's see if we can do it here. Got it. In the pits. Right, you have to slow down so much more than you think you need to. Like, you might think, man, I gotta slow down a lot for this pit road. It's 35, and I'm in a 1987 beast. And then, it's more than you think you need to slow down, even though you thought that. <laughs> That's essentially what I've experienced here. So, I'm hoping that if we do get the green flag stops, my practice will pay off. Right here. And we'll actually gain some time by uh, doing green flag pit stops. So I feel like I'm feeling pretty solid. Um, not too unlike how I'm feeling pretty solid about my qualifying lap. It looks like we're two tenths up on, on uh, second place, which is Lewandowski. He's always very good in just about any series I see him in. So, you know, uh, he's going to be a tough one to beat. I think in the end, though, you know, top five would be fantastic. Top ten would be A-OK -okay with me. Anything less than that, and I'm going to start being like, <laughs> But uh, the main goal here, don't blow the darn right front tire for once. I swear it's the past two or three times I've been here. So you notice after just a couple laps, already 5% down, and you will blow your tire if you go too long. So It's fine, you got loads. Fuel, tires... Probably both going to be a thing. Maybe not fuel. I'm not sure. I assume fuel, but maybe not. But uh, unless someone puts in a blazer here in the next 16 seconds, looks like we got ourselves a pole. We can get a nice jump at the start. 
Man, if people are going faster than we are, because of uh, the way I'm trying to save tires, then you know what? They can just go ahead and do that. Here we go. That's the end of the That's session. Cool. Pole position. Nice one. Nice. All right, let's get gridded up. I got my brake bias at 44.4. I initially had it at minimum, but I was having trouble getting, uh, spinning myself, trying to get on green flag pit stop. So I upped it just a little bit to uh, about as low as I could get without feeling uncomfortable. So. Glad the, uh, that time got us the pole, though even though I wasn't too interested in starting up front. See, if I didn't qualify, we still would have been starting 12th, which would be almost directly in the middle. And that's almost probably worse than starting up front. So my options were middle or the front, and I tried to get the front. And it looks like we did. So I just hope the guys are patient. We'll see. We're going to do a session last lap because we are at no point in this race unless we get like a one lap shootout at the end. I'm going to be trying for a best lap. We're going to do a session last lap and uh, probably be crawling around this place, letting the banking carry us, slowing down majorly before the corner, all that good stuff. I feel like I should say something. You have two additional sets of tires during this race. Only have two sets of tires. Yeah, we're gonna have to be nice to these things. The air temp is 78 Fahrenheit. That's Paul. I'm going to be saving tires pretty heavily here off the start. Just a warning for the people behind me, so when I check up, you know that you're ready for it. Stay behind the pace car in the inside column. One to go. Next time by, you'll so be running up say that. inside. Pit road is closed. that changes anything. Just don't want them uh, running Q laps while I'm running a not Q lap. Let's see if that even changes how they approach it at all, or maybe that I don't know. Is that is that a snobby thing to say? Like, oh, watch out for me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to uh, make sure they're aware of what I'm going for here. Good jump, looks like. Side. Go on ahead. Still there. P2. Clear outside if you want it. That's exactly what I was talking about. Watch out for me because I am not going to be going that fast. The so we're gonna see this tan fall off pretty hard, um, unless he's the world's greatest racer or something, world's best tire saver. I might even be going a little hard right now. 
That's your quickest lap in this session. This lap. Probably don't even want to be hitting quickest lap. I feel like uh, these early laps are crucial to getting this thing, keeping this thing happy in the long run. It's being very patient on the throttle. That lap was at 26.9. Outside. Stay low. Kind of looked on the outside. Outside. Stay low. He wants it. He can have it for sure. Still there. Outside is clear. Car outside. Um, Keep low. Clear outside. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Be scary though. Car outside. It's flying by me. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear. D4. I think it'll pay off. I know guys are going past us now, but I think it's going to pay off. It's certainly how it's felt. A couple of times I've come here. Power saving is very crucial. Your lap time was at 27.3. what I like to feel. Got some rotation on exit there. That's exactly what I'm hoping to get. That lap time was 27.3. And still out there. But it's still early. I'm racing for a long run here. But in it, I don't know. A little bit hard on it there. Kind of trying to keep it low out of the corner there. It seems to be fine. This guy's having to save it. I'm pulling you down, Jim. Go ahead. You can see how much we're getting more on exit to the guy behind us, too. He can reach us mid corner. I got to you, but I don't know if I can get around you, kind of things. I feel like we're already in a better spot than seven behind us. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Man. Just starting to see some benefits from tire saving. Let's see. Uh, it's still pretty early. Zero point six gallons. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Pace car is out. I think we'll watch the guys ahead of us. I don't know. Maybe we go green to the end, though. 
0.4 gallons. I think we can make it on fuel now. It's a stuff. If we do pit, it's going to be right sides only. Because of how this car works. If anyone in front of us goes, I think I'll go. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Just gets passing me on the inside of there and caution that. <laughs> oh my god, they almost ran into each other back there. Holy smokes. They're crashing under pace slabs. Look out for the pit speed limit. Fluent Dusty's coming, I'm coming. 35 miles per hour. All right, Colton, we'll fill you to the end of the race. And if we're going to be uh, all the way in the back anyway, then take both tires. We'll save the uh, right tires the strategy for later. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Too concerned with where I end up. Over the tires. 95 95. I feel like I did a pretty good job saving them. Dowski's taking four. Alright. Go, go, go! That guy may be taking two. Fair enough. Single file. 596 on the left side too, you know? I think I'm just, I'm going to take the, I'm going to save that strategy for later in the race. So right now it's not like it's going to give us track position. And I know the car usually does feel better when you take two tires. But, uh, save that for later in the race. Ideally we have these tires until the end. So in that case, I want the four. And now we can't afford to be extra patient. I don't know what the pace is going to look like back here. But we certainly won't be in any hurry. You got loads of fuel. Loads of fuel. Don't have to worry about that till the end. I don't think we did anyway. Certainly won't be uh, leaving that checked anymore. And these laps tick off really quick here, too, um, when you don't have green-white checkers at the end. That's another thing, and it can end under caution. So you might want to be in first by the time it hits, like, five to go or something. Because if caution comes out, that's that. Got to think about that as well. Well, it is pretty early still. Uh, so these races can go green sometimes. So, I'm going to take that chance. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Got another person maybe that changed their mind and they're coming into the pits. Alright, fair enough. A couple people maybe. you got plenty of fuel. One left to green. We're going green next Line time. Line up on the outside. It's interesting to note that the 10 was able to stay out there for about 15 laps while seemingly going hard. It's good to know. He might not have been going 100%, but he was going enough that uh, I think his tires wouldn't have lasted. Too much longer. Check up here. About to so go that's green. about Stay you know, a really disorganized looking field. The pace car is in. Okay, Colton. There's a car exit in the pit. Heads up. This guy's not going all that much. 
outside. G14. Clear outside if you want it. The actor Atkins behind is now 0.9. Outside. Outside. Little field. fearful. <laughs> Getting through the field. P12. We can make it. Kind of glad that Lewandowski's leading the way instead of me, to be honest. <laughs> he can uh, meet them first. That was a uh, 26.7. Outside. Stay low. Outside is clear. Gonna use the tires a little bit having to come through the field, but hopefully I can navigate it reasonably enough that it's uh, not gonna be too bad. P11. Station? That lap was a 27.2. Got some side by side up there that was looking kind of scary for a moment. I got pretty close. Just being patient. A lot of racing to go. Man, these guys look like they're trying to wreck each other, to be honest. Hopefully not, but <laughs> sure looks like it. Someone getting the uh, wall on entry. You've just done a 27.3. Now he's making his way through the field a little bit faster than we are. I feel like he's using his tires up more to do it. I'm kind of just being more patient. Let's say, looking to the inside. Um, letting the tires even out a little bit. Outside. Still there, hold your line. I'm not using all up all my yeah, tires outside. to get through as that guy almost right rears me. You're in the top ten. Tenth position. Your last lap time was at... 27.4. I don't know what the caution was for anyway. I don't think I ever saw what happened. Feeling good about uh, consistent laps though. It was about at 0 0.00 on my last lap there. It's kind of what I want. Consistency. Consistently slow. <laughs> Pretty much. That's a dive. Let me sort this out before I get crazy. I got down way too early there. Just messed up my ankle. And see him falling off more and more. I'm going maybe like 30%, to be honest. And you can't really do too much more here, to be fair.
Feeling great though. Got great speed on exit. Speed time's almost coming up and hitting. Fighting hard. I have to check up now. A wall on entry. I'd really like to get by these guys soon. But I don't want to use up all my time doing it. So we need these till the end. Really? Dude. Outside. Still there, mid corner there. So I want to get by this guy right now. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay low. Keep low. Man. D9. That lap time was. <laughs> car outside. Still there. Keep low. Still there. Clear. It's tired to do that, but passed him finally. He's falling apart. That lap was a 27.6. It's fine. You got loads. The gap in front is now Fuel. six. Up to ninth. Car is turning just fine. And that guy gets turned. The yellow flag is out. Line up single file. Close. That was the caution? Is, is he really sideways out. enough for that to Line up single file behind That's dumb, if eight. that's what the caution was. He wasn't even completely sideways. And based on some of the cautions, quote unquote, that... Was that caution for my fly? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't think that was that fair. It was a good catch, though. Yeah, I don't know if that was a precaution for my deal or, or, or what. I mean, I know it was a hell of a fade. I, 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 I don't know why you hit me. Shit hand. Catch that one, car. Bad position now here. Yeah, I didn't mean to touch you. I think this... I went up, you came down kind of thing. Must have been a debris caution. Seventeen got the lucky dog. <laughs> Let them pass on the outside. Don't see that's too much off anymore. Right. You had the position when the yellow. That was Dale Jr. was a lap down. <laughs> Robbie Gordon threw something out the window again. I think I just shit on the track. That's what the cause for. That was the debris. <laughs> That's what I just said. No. <laughs> Go back and watch any of those like early to mid two thousand races, especially restricted play races. As soon as Dale Jr.'s in the lucky dog spot, gosh, put it out. Yeah. Put it out. <laughs> well, hopefully we're not too crazy off pace here. I feel like I was pretty nice to the tires, but of course these guys are gonna have fresh ones and we can't take another set. Right now. Fortunately ah, the precaution came out. Way too early. I think these lap guys are going to be on the inside row. So that'll be interesting. Hopefully it'll prevent us from getting run over immediately. We'll have to let some people by, I'm sure, but... Hmm. Not a good spot for us to be in. Needed that just to go green. 
I still think it could have been. It could have, too. I don't think that should have been a caution. Curious to see what our pace is going to look like compared to, say, the number 10 back there. Not sure I want to do first gear start again. Felt like I had to shift a little too soon last time. Yeah, I think I'm going to do second gear. One left to green. You're on the out no, guided get time. Get ready. Race the regime at the end of this lap. So if I'm not mistaken, the leader's still the control car, even though he's gonna be on the outside. Pretty sure that how it's, that's how it works. I'm a little fuzzy on the details of some of these older rules. I'm gonna be watching the one car though. I just really hope this doesn't end up a mess with guys on old tires, lapped cars, and then guys with new tires. It just seems like a real mix of speeds going on here. Get ready, going green. Pipe car is off. Oh, maybe I didn't want to do. Okay, why are you changing lanes? Not this way, you're running second. P2, the gap behind is now 0.2. It's pretty lame. Car outside. Clear outside. Car outside. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Interested Still in there. battling the sky with his fresh high. tires. Bye. This five cars. Oh, they want you in single file. Still too early for the tires. It's closed. Pace cars out. Line up single file. Car ten. We're not even halfway. We can't take our last set. There's no way. Yeah, I've never heard the new pace car before. I didn't know it had a flat six in it. I'm gonna pull over after the start finish line. I gotta jump up real quick. I'll catch up. Five got the lucky dog, let them past on the outside. So five's gonna be back on the lead lap instead of doing whatever they were doing that last start. Like, he cut me off, like, before we even got to the start finish line, and he was slow. Like, I don't know about that one, friend, but not worry about him, at least for now. I don't know what this car is in front of us. <laughs> One of the new Buicks, though, that's pretty cool. Added to the iRacing service starting this season. Something that Dale Jr. pushed for. Because he likes these 87 cars a lot. Also, he was a big reason we got. Hey, seriously, we thought I went in the pit before I pulled over, I guess. North Wilkes. Well, I'm position. Yeah, I think it's something to do with maintaining your speed with the pace car. I think it's what the reason why I did that to you. And I'm 
mic's not working, or my, I can't hear anybody talking, so I'll fix it when I actually pit stop next time. So, we've, uh, we've still got a set of tires in there for later. It's going to be very necessary, um, being that we're just about to get halfway. You only got two sets, which I enjoy. Make us uh, make that hard decision. Um, just maybe not the right decision so far. Of course, we're in third. And uh, we had the 10th pass us pretty quick, but the other guys they didn't necessarily fly past us. That said, they're going to be closer this time. So we might lose another spot or two. Maybe more. Not sure. It'll be nice that the tires are cooled down now. The two quick cautions are probably nice and cool. That's going to help them have grip. Even out the experience a little bit. It's are open. But we need some more uh, green flag racing before we come in and take our last set of tires for sure. Do we have any lap cars? I don't think we have any lap cars up here. Do we? Ah, uh, nope. I see someone coming. Number 18. So they're going to be fighting. Hopefully they are capable of holding a line. I don't know if I mentioned it so far. This is single split. So, I remember guys might uh, struggle a little bit more. Happy to share the track, though. As long as they're willing to share as well. Give plenty of room. You know what I mean? It looks like they are the only one. I'm going to go ahead and do second gear again, even though I'm still kind of unsure about which I want to do. The pace car is off. Be ready. Awful start for that lap car. Just keep hitting your mark. That's half distance. Fuel levels are fine. P3. A black lap for you. It still feels pretty good, to be honest. I haven't been using up the tires all that much. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. And I'm gonna continue not using them too much so I don't fall off a cliff here. I drove it a little bit there. Okay. Pins off to the races, trying to catch the one. Looks like it's being pretty aggressive about it too. Behind are going to be using up their tires, their new fresh tires. Better time of it than me. Okay, Colton, the next car is My oldies. So when he gets up to me, I won't put up too much of a fight. I'm going to know uh, where I am on speed right now. That last lap was at 26.7. Caution. And we got a caution. In single file. Pit road is closed. Catch the one car. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car number one. This is tough, man. They're making this decision tough. This is so tough, I don't know what to do. Crew Chief, where are you? I need the data. You got 
got loads of fuel. Not that data. I need tire data. They're not pitting behind us. Wondowski is not pitting in front of us. Guess we're staying out. My only concern is if we do end up taking tires later, and we end up at the back of the field or something, how far are we going to get up, be able to get up the field with the fresh tires? Probably a decent bit, but you can't. Uh, Got to give yourself some time to make your way back up. And like I said, the uh, these races, the end of them, they can sneak up on you. But I think this is the right decision. I think it's still time to stay out. Still too many laps left. But if we get another short run like that, it's going to be hard to uh, hard to stay out in that case. Fab, did you just go get fresh rubber? It's our open. Five? He's 16 laps down. Yeah, I can't hear you, bro. I'm sorry. I cannot hear you, Fred. Yeah, his mic's been cocked every time he tried to talk with me. I mean, it makes noise, but it sounds like somebody's playing bongos in the other room. <laughs> hear me now? Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, I hear you now, brother. <laughs> sorry about that. No, I didn't take that. Okay, I didn't know. I was going to say, if you did take cars, I'll let you take it in one here. I might still do the same anyway, because I just put these on a couple laps ago, and I'm in no interest of wearing the nipples off them yet. Bye here, man. Yeah, the problem with communicating with American Sign Language on voice chat is, well, you know, it doesn't come across too well. What's the pace car speed? 45. Too far, you. One to go. Next time by. Line we're not crazy off pace, pace though. It seems like we were holding our own. You know, their tires are getting less and less fresh as time goes on. Maybe we're okay. Oh yeah, I forgot the lap down cars go to the inside. Hello, number Up five. Until ten to go, right? He's right? back. Did Something not. Uh, was kind of yes, scared. Sir. By the way he was driving earlier. Keep an eye on him. It's really funny they do that and the lucky dog. It's true. They should let you race back to the green for their cautions fly or flies. Or we'll come in pit road a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> they should allow all that. And uh, I mean if they're gonna go ahead and do lucky dogs, they should do wave rounds as well. The pace car is on. Be ready. Hey. Jump. Green, green flag, green flag. I've got a better jump that time than the other guy did. You're reeling Lewandowski in. The gap is 0.2. Okay. No idea where he is. Okay. Wondering. I'm gonna have to track pretty much, or pretty hard. First corner.
going up near the wall. Car feels great though. I'm happy with how I'm saving the tires. I just wish we would have a long run on equal tires. I feel like I could compete very well. I don't know why the five is deciding to turn. Kowski. I mean, there is a lucky dog. We did just discuss that. Outside. Outside, clear. Car outside. Still there. Clear outside. Uh, this guy's not my favorite. That was a 26.9. Like, it's one thing, oh my god, it's one thing if there were no lucky dog, and you gotta fight for your lap back, and you were one lap down or something, and you had a good car, and you just happened to end up a lap down. The guy's, what, 15 laps down now? And you have a lucky dog to fall back on? You don't need to race your lap back. So why are you racing hard enough to the point where you're almost turning the number one car, who's in second place? It's just, I don't see the long-term goal here. You risk not only wrecking someone else, but yourself, and then you don't get the lucky dog either. That's just bad planning. You could tell he's going 110%, trying to get up to the lead, I guess. But what, what good's that going to do? You're gonna get the same lap back as you would as the lucky dog, which you're gonna get, assuming you're the front lap car, which you are by far, because I think you're the only one trying for it. But I'm just talking to myself about it. He's clearly not hearing it. He's clearly hitting the wall on the Outside. straightaway. Outside is clear. Have you ever driven one of these cars before? I just have to ask. Maybe you're in me now. Oh, I'm loving how loose it is on exit. That's feeling great. That lap time was 37.0. Caution, yellow flag. Caution. All right. Pit road is closed Bumper by tires. Pace cars out. Line up single file behind car number one. Pace cars out. Honestly, I felt like I had enough speed. I could have won the thing. That went green to the end. But they have continued to wreck. So here we are. I hope that five is nowhere near us. And now he's gone? What was the point of that? Pit road now open. Did it, was he the wreck? That didn't really work out, did it? Oh my god. Some people just don't think. They just smash the throttle and they don't think about what they're doing. I don't I don't understand. Watch your speed. You got plenty yes, of fuel. we're bringing the rest of the field too. I like it. I'm going four here. We've been on these tires long enough. I hope you guys are all going in for your first set. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. What can you say, man?
going in for my second. I am perfectly happy with it. How many people are going to take two? Okay, punch it. You None that are going to pass us. They, want you to they did. So if this goes green to the end again, I'm like back. As far as I'm concerned. Unless I crash, obviously. I'm betting on this thing going green to the end. That's my, uh... I'm going to put it at the pit here just to go to the back. I don't want to get ran over by all you guys on fresh rubbies. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Very happy with how those tires were wearing, though. 72, 73. That is A-OK. -okay. Now we're coming out fourth. We got fresh tires. We're going to be in a very good position here. If it goes green. And we've had enough people crash out at this point. Chances are lower. And I feel like I'm, a dec I'm doing decent enough with saving tires that uh, I can make my way past these guys, hopefully. And if we do get a late caution, I mean, maybe, maybe we'll be okay. Like I said, he's, uh, the end of this race sneaks up on you. If we get more cautions, like if we get a ton of cautions, we're not going to wear our tires anyway. If we get no cautions, we're in a very, very good spot. So I'm happy with this decision. It might not work out for us, but I feel statistically it's the best option for us. Then again, I'm not a crew chief. I'm the driver guy. So we'll see. Pits are open. Giant two toes. Twitch TV. Which two toes do you think are giant? Do you think they're like different ones on each foot? Like one well, big pinky green. toe and then You're the other one's like the middle toe? Car. It's really Coming big. Or is he just referencing, you know, the standard two big toes? But what would make that special? Why would you want to be known as giant two toes if you were just talking about your two big toes that everyone has too big of? I have a lot of questions. And you know what? I, I'm okay with it uh, going unanswered. You hope. <laughs> he gets a good jump, because I am behind him. I'm assuming he's on old tires. Where'd he go? Uh, pull forward? I don't know whether to pull forward or not. That guy disappeared. About to go green. Stay focused. I guess we're good. The pace car is in. All right. I guess he's gone. Exciting. Back in third. Keep hustling. Yeah. Gotta wait for the guy in front of me, man. There he goes. He lost connection. Alright. There's no reason to rush this. The next car's the leader. This will be nice to the tires while we're at it. In fact, I'm gonna wait for them to settle out this two wide scenario, cause it seems too dangerous for me.
Right there, but he gave us the lane. Outside. Still there. Clear up top. Alright. Now it's time to go very easy the tires. Just enough to stay in front of them. Fender back here though, so I might have to hit on the afterburners. So don't want him to pass us. Thankfully, the number one's holding him back for now. The reason I want to save these tires because hopefully he's using up his, making that pass. don't want to push any harder than I am right now, just in case, but if this guy's coming, I feel like he's going to want to pass. Approaching. Not gonna let him get close enough to make a move, though. You're in the lead. No cautions, please. That was a uh, twenty-six point nine. Let's push a little bit more. Gotta manage this very well. I gotta be very careful about how I'm maintaining this gap. What the fuck are you doing? Oh crash. No crashies, please. Ooh, no wall, please. You've just done a I hope this guy's pushing hard to try to keep up. So that way, uh, his tires end up in a worse situation than mine. Oh, they're wrecking or something back there. They're running into things. I think you got the wall, maybe? Eleven to go. Let's make them green, please. That said, remember what I was saying before. The end of this thing sneaks up on you. If we get a caution flag, late 80s in the laps, thing's over. Guess who's in P1 right now? Exactly where I want to be. So let's click off as many of these as we can. And then you never know. Oh, actually, one's getting kind of close to us all of a sudden. Uh, makes me nervous a little bit. I'd expect him to have a boost of speed. This isn't going to be as uh, much of a cakewalk as I thought. Despite his uh, older tires, all of a sudden he's out here. 
one at us. Uh-oh. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Pit road is closed. Catch the pace oh, oh, oh. car. Catch the pace car. Line up single file behind the pace car. We're under caution. It's closed. Let's get caught up, six. Damn caution. Pit road's open. Full yeah, certainly not what I wanted to see. It's messed up my <clears throat> every time the caution comes out it seems like I drive different afterwards. Maybe this time you drive differently and drive to the front? Well that's what I was just doing, so now I'm probably gonna drive oh, like once shit coming in? again. <laughs> Oh, it's too late in the race for him to feel comfortable. Hmm. Uh -huh. I know it can't be the only guy that left the set hanging. No, I do. Car 19, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Car 19 is a piece of shit. Interesting. He might be okay yet. I don't know who the first person is that's going to have tires. Well, he's driving like a Buick. Kind of looks like a Mustang from the back. I know the nines, or I'm pretty sure the nines on new tires, but we were already right. pulling away from him. So we're good there. The one has surprising speed, or maybe I shouldn't be surprised because we know he's really fast. But he has speed on old tires. So, I'm gonna have to watch out for that, especially because the tires are gonna be cooled again. Of course, that applies to both of us. I don't know who the next person's gonna be with tires. Hmm. You know, maybe with a good jump here, maybe this wasn't so bad after all. PRS. What does that stand for? I don't know. Maybe I don't want to know. That must be what he was trying to say. All right. PRS, PRS isn't penguins riding squirrels. It's uh, prey, which makes a lot more sense because we are going to be praying to survive. Get a good jump. We'll be okay. I'm going to do a cut down. It's I'll tell you that right now. I'm not going to tell these people. <laughs> well, I'm going to cut down. I don't think there's a going to be lap cars on the inside, so I'm going to be up high and then I'm going to cut down the track. Hopefully get a little bit extra distance from the jump. <sighs> Second gear I think is the way to go. Oh boy. We get another quick caution, we win. Axel make his last Come minute on. decision. Oh, boy, good job, I like it. This lap. And you know what, maybe we'll get it. You had me fooled. So Thomas, in the number one, ended up in the situation I was worried I was going to end up in, where it's too late to take the tires. You won't have time to make your way through the field. Jim, there's four Dale Earnhardt in front of us. I think we're screwed. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, it's gonna Crash. be. Uh, yeah. Give me the win. Let's see. A 
about to go green, stay focused. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green, green, green. Good job. Oh, Lewandowski pushed it hard. No! Don't do it to me. Still there, hold your line. Clear inside. Inside. Still there, inside. <sighs> gotta be kidding Clear me. Clear inside. The next car's the leader. on exit anymore. I'm so mad at myself for letting this slip away. Can't believe I left it open like that for you, Joshua. No, I was uh, I was working the wheel, that's for sure. Killed, man. Good job, Thomas. Man, dude. A clock. Well done. Decent drive. Chicken flag. 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 Watch your speed limit in the pits. I'm trying to figure yeah, out what actually was trained in my ass at. Tick bag. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering the same thing. Good race and good win. I'm heartbroken. Man, I've especially thrown that away having such newer tires, but uh, it was well done, man. Good one. You were number four, right? I mean. Oh, that one hurts. It was just better. See the crashes. Kept the tires on it. Didn't blow my right front this time. <sighs> but I got nothing to blame. Except just being bad. He wants, but he put the fat block on a fat run. So I hit him way before the corner and let him off. And he just went way high and did a big slide out. Watch it. Go watch it. It was a fire move. Sorry, I'm spacing out. He's not trying to get you golden. And so I got you the one, so I gave you the water oh, room when you were going back past me. I was, no, I was supposed to draft with you back to them, but then the last caution came out. Nah, you were fine. I, I didn't even know you touched me. Yeah, I just drilled in a little hard, a little low, and brushed up to you, and then a few laps later you were getting faster than me, so I was like, fuck, I'm not going to hold this guy when I did that to him. Then yeah, the last guy, like, I don't try and drive like that. I just, it was way before the corner I hit him because I had a huge run and he kept coming down. So I was just like, fuck it, I'm going to drive into this guy and let him know. My ticket's move I've been these pairs, if you ask me. I've only had these for, like, this is my first week. What, was that, was that the seven car that was saying something? Mm. No, it was the 14. It was, like, the last corner, Bill. Like, we were right behind you. I, 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 oh, okay. Yep. 
Big two toes under the wall. Got lots of wall hits. Oh no, this one evolved into worse than a wall hit. Do do. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm not really surprised Thomas won. I think he's been pro series for as long as it's existed. Yeah, this is a this is a hell of fun race. Oh, so well hits. That's big problems. Sure, these are fun here. And this is under caution. What on earth? That's just maybe not knowing that, you know, the brakes aren't the very best in these cars. Maybe not paying attention? I don't know. <sighs> it's absolutely rear ends. Two toes. why we're seeing a lot of stuff. Oh, that was a tiny wall hit, so I saw that one. Mm -mm. Wall hits. That's a wall hit. Oh no, that's a spin. Three ended up in a wreck at some point, I think. Might be thinking of someone else. We might be seeing him again later. Not sure what happened to number seven. He was in second at this point. Actually, I'm not too familiar with it. Where everybody finished. Seventh had problems somehow. It's like... I'm still just kicking myself for throwing that away. I should not have given that up. He had older tires than me. He was just better. And that's, that hurts so much more than something I could give as an excuse. Oh no. I hit... what I hit? Oh, I hit pause. <laughs> it just... it really hurts to know that it was just my own skill. It kept me from winning. And that it hurts so much. <laughs> Ooh, six gets run over. And old Toes here has been in a lot of issues. He's had a lot of issues. This guy has been a problem. He's rear-ending people under caution and during green flag runs. Big run for the 8, and they're just going to absolutely take out the 18. Holy sk... They just absolutely plowed through them. I assume they tried to be lower down the track, and they just misjudged it. Like, it's obviously not intentional. Maybe didn't expect the lap car to be that slow entering the corner. <laughs> that was not great. Why are we even getting these cautions? Like... He just stops on track? Really? These are the cautions that threw my pit strategy off. And this is the quality of caution we're getting. He just stops on the track. Oh, that's always very frustrating.
Just gonna skip through some of these more boring wall hits. Anything here? Not quite. Fifteen being all over the place. He did crash. I didn't even see that in my mirror. He was a problem. Oops. It's like you're 16 laps down. You don't even need to be pushing that hard. You just have to not crash and you'll be the lucky dog the next time the yellow flag comes out. And I don't even know why you care about that so much if you're 16 laps down. I, just, I got questions. The 8 is just turning the 7 in the pit road. How did they end up in this situation? Seven just goes in the inside. I mean, this could be all avoided. Seven just goes below and into the pit lane, because then you're intangible. But if you're both above the pit lanes, like that, then uh, you can hit each other. And it's pits right there, so he's like... Oops. He goes right through them. That's why I like to just, if I'm in a situation like that, just go straight down the pit lanes. Okay. At least that wasn't a caution. They have a family emergency or something? What was that? He just quit. That's what happened to them, I guess. Weird. Trying to make the track wider. Trying to make the track wider. Not quite working. Dean trying to make the track wider. Again. Oh, why we're seeing that? That's a loose, and that is a caution. So this is the late race caution that we got. Hey, okay, Ricking. That's an eighth. How do you? How are you even loose enough to spin it like that? I guess maybe they're on new tires. Oh, we yanking the wheel really hard. It's uh. I don't know, maybe I don't hold him off. Maybe I still lose the lead. He's right there. It might have cost me the win. Ah, oh, it hurts. It hurts. Anyway, heel flag. Racing around. I got a pretty decent jump, too, and he still just came up on me. Let's just watch this ending, as much as it's going to hurt me. So get a couple car lengths on the jump. He's just so aggressive through turn one. I don't know how he gets it to stick like that. How? On those old of tires? How? And then he's got the inside on me. Even kind of gets down to the apron. Looks for a second, I'm like, I'm going to be able to hold him off, but I get tight on exit. That's all there was. There was no getting around him after that. I don't know. I don't want to spend too long on this as much as I want to dwell on it. I want to give him room. It's just it won't cut down like I want it to, and I'm going to hit the wall if I don't lift as much as I do there. I just didn't have the grip. See me just trying, trying to get it turned. And then once he's there, he's there. I'm not going to get past him at this point. Oh, heartbreaker. I'm giving everything I got. 
but I don't want to smash myself in the wall or anything. I lose second, so. Well, it was how it was always going to end, I guess. The number one in first and the number two in second, but I gave it my best. That hurts. <laughs> that hurts a lot. But um, I hope it was entertaining, at least. Really tough finish for me, but. Hopefully it was good television, at the very least. And I will see you next time. I didn't blow it with my right front, so there's that. Have a good one.